Coba minum air gambut ya. Abang mau nyoba? Ya, Allah. <laughs> Aduh, sakit perut. Aduh, sakit perut. I'm Omar. I'm a producer and musician from Jakarta, Indonesia. And let's be real. Look at me. I hate going outside. I think the outside is scary. I'm scared of bugs. But I'm going to challenge myself because I'm all about character development. So I'll be spending the next 24 hours in the Restaurasi Ecosystem Riau. The RER is a project to conserve and restore endangered flora and fauna and their habitat in East Sumatra, Indonesia. And my purpose here is to ditch all my comfort zone by shadowing real forest rangers <laughs> to find out what they face in their day-to-day -day patrol routes and most importantly, as they carry out their mission in protecting the forest. But first, we need to hitch a ride on something called a pontoon. RER itu apa sih buat orang kota yang kayak gue nggak tahu apa-apa? Nah, jadi RER itu sebenarnya program restorasi ekosistem, Mar. Nah. Jadi, jadi lebih kurang tujuannya itu untuk menjaga, melindungi, sama memulihkan hutan gambut yang ada di sini. Seberapa serem sih masuk RER tuh? 100. Balik aja. <laughs> jangan, jangan, jangan. Enggak, enggak. Enggak terlalu serem sih kalau menurut aku ya. Dan kalaupun seram, itu bakalan terbayarkan besok, Mar. Oke. Okay? Mantap. <laughs> With tears reassurance not quite helping me, it's up to my guide Henry Zal to show me the ropes. Basically, he's a ranger who I'm going to 100% put my trust into. So, we're about to enter the jungle, so wish me luck. No amount of equipment will prep me for what I'm about to do. The rangers are taking me on their daily 10 kilometer patrol route, which ends at our rest stop. Jadi, um, kerjaannya sebagai ranger itu apa aja ya? Bang, salah satunya untuk mengamankan hutan ini dari tindakan-tindakan orang ilegal logging gitu kan. Oh, jadi itu melindungi satwanya, terus uh, floranya, tumbuh-tumbuhannya kan. Uh. Terus dari perburuan perambahan, terus kebakaran gitu. Hati-hati, Bang. Iya, yeah, iya, yeah, iya. Yeah. <laughs> Bisa terpuruk kita. Kalau di hutan gambut, kalau musim hujan kayak gini, Bang. Oh, Soalnya mah gambut nih gampang mengandung air gitu. Tak dari tadi tuh saya dengar kata-kata gambut. Ya. Tuh saya pura-pura ngerti ya, tapi sebenarnya nggak ngerti. <laughs> kalau kena air lagi lebih lembek lagi, lebih berbahaya kan. Jadi kalau penja tuh langsung masuk lagi. Masuk kita. ya langsung ya. Ya. Oh. I'm starting to realize that being a forest ranger is not a walk in the park, even though I'm walking in a park. Thankfully, it's time to ditch the peat soil for a peaceful cruise. Apa yang dikangenin gitu saat, apa yang dirindukan saat biasanya sih, karena shift kan lama gitu kan ya, satu kali shift itu tujuh hari ya, dua hari gitu. Ya kita rindukan yang jelas keluarga kita, keluarga. orang tua, bapak, terus anak istri kita kan gitu. Sudah berkeluarga bang? Saya sudah. Sudah, punya berapa anak? Satu. Anak satu. Umur? Ya. Umur enam tahun. Oh masih enam tahun, masih ya. muda ya. Matikan, matikan. Kenapa? Ah, itu kan? I think we just found a bird trap that poachers like to set up nearby the river. And what I've been told, it's in the form of a stick with very strong adhesive glue. Terus, jadi keuntungan mereka nyuruh-nyuruh burung apa? Dijual lagi gitu? Dijual, Bang. Dijual hidup? Iya, bener. Itu kalau kena burung itu nggak lepas lagi. Keringatan nyampe ke atas itu. Coba lihat nah, speakernya. They have this portable speaker where they play bird sounds on loop to attract the birds and then at the end of the day the poacher will come and pick up their uh, catch for the day. This is the first time I'm seeing this kind of trap before. I mean, I've never been anywhere, so this is the first time for everything. Birds aren't the only animals in the RER. There are about 800 other species that also live here. Since it's a wee bit difficult to get up close and personal, the animal lover in me is excited to see some exclusive BTS footage. So what is the camera trap? The sound is intense. There's a sensor here. Anything that passes through, it'll trigger the camera. 
and shoot a flash, and then I'll record either photo or video. What are the animal highlights that you've caught? So this is a flat-headed cat. Here's a Sunda clouded leopard. Oh, nice. Malaysian sun bears are one of the most common species we catch on our camera trap. And here's a bearded pig. What's a bearded pig? <laughs> well, it's like a domestic kind, except if you look at the side of its scruff, there's just a lot of facial hair. It's literally a, a boar with a, with a beard. Yeah, exactly. One thing that's just really interesting about camera traps is that you could really document their behavior things they wouldn't normally exhibit in the presence of like people or humans, you know. Now they're just kind of like acting natural, doing what they normally would do in nature, and we're not really interfering with that. Distracted by the animals, I've lost track of time. We've been on boats, we've walked, hit my steps for the day, maybe for the year, and I'm absolutely starving. I guess, I guess we're having lunch here. I didn't expect this uh, to be our lunch place, but here we are. I suppose there's no food delivery here. But hey, Henry Zal has still promised me a taste of the local delicacies. Warnai coklat bang. Bener. Ini karena ini bahasa air semua nggak nggak papa ya. Nggak papa, jadi nggak akan kebakar. Ini kan nanti kita taruh kita tumis dulu uh, bumbu-bumbu ini baru kita masukkan sardennya. Oke, okay. udah masak nasi kita bang. Air. Gimana bang? Enak bang? Main? <laughs> it's not the best, but it's good for what it is. It's not just trees and animals that call RER home. Part of the ranger's job is to build relationships with the locals. Pat Bahtiar was known for being an illegal logger, but the RER has helped him make a more sustainable career switch as a fisherman. Oh yes, Bismillah. Ini kira-kira berapa kilo? Dua kilo lah. Kelebihannya apa, Pak? Bekerja dibanding jadi pas jadi ilegal. Kalau itu kan kita hati kita kan masih takut-takut karena itu kan il, namanya ilegal lagi. Yeah. Kalau ini kan tak ada yang melarang kan. Dapat kita menjaga hutan sekalian. Pak Bahtiar's kind attitude and his story really opened my eyes. He's a real life example of how it's never too late to change your life for the greater good. Jadi kita sekarang tujuan kita kemana sekarang? Sekarang kita ke pos, ke pos. Ah, ah, pos. kita ke pos istirahat dulu, minum kopi ya, yeah. santai, so. baru mandi gitu. Gede juga ya posnya. So as you guys can see, it's like pouring rain right now. It was fine like five minutes ago, and I guess that's just the jungle weather. But I'm glad that we're here because we wouldn't screw it if we were still on the boat and it was like raining like this. Ini kita kan udah di tengah-tengah hutan, berarti ya udah nggak ada resepsi, nggak ada sinyal ya? Ya memang betul-betul nggak ada, bang. Okay, so we're putting his phone on top of a tree by setting up a hotspot like high enough uh, from the ground that we can get signal. And we're in the middle of the jungle right now, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, udah mulai masuk dia. Baru dua, sepuluh. Yes. Okay. Bisa bang, bisa bang. Luar biasa bang. Okay. Saya udah hampir seribu nih masuk. Udah seribu. <laughs> so I just got miracle. Like, I just got internet connection in the middle of the jungle. So this is five star. Good soup. So finally, I got my phone signal, told my girlfriend I'm still alive, and had a relaxing shower. I mean, it is what it is. And I'm ready to tuck into Pak Bahtiar's fish curry. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going
itu pertanda rumahnya saya, te- saya lihat di seberang rumahnya udah ada si datu itu terus pas ketemu gitu ngelas ngelas hari malnya reaksi pertamanya apa? ya kaget takut? gak bisa gerak? kalau takut sih ya takut sih siapa yang gak takut cuman kayak mana lagi kita kerja that might just be another day's work for ranger Ismail Aiman speaking of which it's got me worried about how I'm going to sleep tonight saya mau nanya juga nih dari tadi nih dari Uh, apa matahari udah mulai terbenam nih suara ini tuh muncul terus nih di luar ini suara apa ya? oh itu suara kata suara kodok jadi kayak udah dinyanyin kita mau tidur itu tapi itulah suaranya krek krek can't sleep but look look at him look at him there's like bugs everywhere it's like ants on the ground and there's like noises outside I managed to fall asleep. Thank God, it's been one hell of an experience. I can't wait to go home, but then again, it's also bittersweet that this experience has ended. Ini 24 jam terakhir tuh nih, bener-bener membuka mata saya sih bang. Saya belum pernah sama sekali di hidup saya. Ya saya dibesarkan di kota, saya lahir dan besar di kota. Saya nggak pernah namanya ke hutan. Apalagi hutan tanah gambut, iya, iya. <laughs> bener-bener Jadi baru. Jadi kayak mana sensasinya itu? Wah itu kalau bisa di, satu kata saya intens itu bener-bener saya dipacu fisikal dan emosi sih ya. Terima kasih sama-sama, banyak. Sama-sama. Sama-sama. Jelas kami para ranjang menunggu kedatangan abang lagi. Kami mantap, siap menemani. Mantap, mantap. Ntar saya balik lagi, saya balik lagi. Siap, siap. Ditunggu. Enak ini adem di sini. <laughs> ya udah, saya duluan ya. Oke okay, ya, bang. Yuk. Duluan ya. Bang, ya. Yuk. The past 24 hours and all the new experiences I've had have shown me that conservation and caring about wildlife and their habitats are super important. As I found out firsthand by shadowing the rangers, it's no easy feat to protect the wildlife here. I've also been thinking about how I could be more sustainable in my daily life. But on a bigger scale, however, I hope that companies with impact could also do their part in conservation and protecting the beautiful world we live in. So that's it guys, I survived 24 hours with a forest ranger. Would you say I'm a good ranger? Absolutely not, I guess, as you can see from the video, but I think like a couple more tries, I could be a decent one, you know? I have to start somewhere.